Uh, what is this? Ah, uh, just playing. Just my gas getter. On to the good stuff. So, um, Christmas came early. But a few people might be able to guess what this is. From our buddies at TCI. Ordered this off of, uh, Stangaholics.com. Real big guns. Real good bunch of guys so far. Very helpful. They, uh, Answered my email right away, jumped on chat, worked up a deal. They even price matched because I found a place that did free shipping. They are, so far from what I can tell, A-plus on customer service. And I'll definitely be shopping from them again just from how helpful they were. Um, this here is my rear four-link torque arm suspension with some lovely coilovers. Fully adjustable at that. Torque arm, all the hardware, adjusting arms, brace, more hardware, the axle brackets for weld on, the main frame stabilization with drive shaft safety loop. I still got it coated. I haven't painted or powder coated. I, prob I will probably be powder coating it, but I'm waiting because I'm tubbing my rear or mini tubbing it. And I believe this piece here will have to be cut and re-welded. So I didn't want to jump on uh, getting them nice and coated pretty just to cut into them. But this is the torque arm that will actually go down the middle of the car and attaches between this brace and the uh, axle. It's supposed to be one of the best upgrades you could get for old Mustangs, or actually they do it for a couple of old cars, but this will pretty much convert it to a modern sports car suspension, from what I hear. But uh, I'll let y'all guys know how it goes whenever it gets to the install portion. I'll probably be, hopefully be able to make some actual install videos, not just a, an update video. I gotta get an actual camera instead of recording on my phone, so I can actually set it up. Probably steal my buddy's GoPro or something. But, um, yeah, I mainly bought this early just because of Black Friday sale. And also because I'll be using it to judge off my frame measurements to make sure they're aligned right. Because those pieces there mount up to the front frame rails, which I'm replacing. And this piece fits in between the rears, I believe. So I'll use this to double check my spacing pretty much. But... That's pretty much it. Now on to the update portion. So I've done a lot more work to it since last video. I think I had this little brace bar welded in, but this side is chopped out now. Back up so I can actually get a picture in. I've cut out the rear floor section, knocked out the rear torque box and frame, and got this one fitted in. It fit in pretty nicely. This side, however, unlike the other side, does not have this gap. Well, that's actually worse. Right there. On the other side, I had this huge gap. Right in this area. This side, I don't. And I took a measurement between my rockers, and I believe, let's take a look here. The factory listed as being, well, can't focus worth a damn, but it says 54 and three quarter. My measurement is 55 and a half. So, apparently from it sitting either over the years, or most, more than likely, of course, it's sitting on jack stands back here, being unsupported for the most part. My bottom end has started to split apart. So, I'm going to have to hook up some toe straps, like what I have there. Well, actually, that's just a ratchet strap, but it'll probably take a toe strap to pull this together. And I'm going to have to ratchet the two sides together about an inch, well, three quarters of an inch, to get it into spec. 
and that will probably fix my gap issue that I have here as well. So that's about what I have to take up is about three quarters of an inch. So that'll explain that. I'm going to wait to do this work until my roommate gets back in town. He's offshore working some rig work, so I'm most likely going to need some help with this. So I'm going to wait to do any more with this until he gets home. So in case something does go terribly wrong, I have an extra hand to help. But um, I'm open to suggestions for the best way to do this. I was doing it just by ratchet strapping the two frame rails, the holes on the underside together but they're not really welded in, they're just kind of clamped and tech screwed on the bottom like so so it's not real 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 secure there I'd rather not chop into my tunnel but the only other way I know of would be to make a whole loop around the out through you know inside the doors here across and under the car and ratch, start ratcheting them together I don't know of any other way to easily do this unless I weld loops or something underneath the car, which I thought of doing too. I'd rather not add any more extra work or more, any more than necessary, should I say. So I guess if I had to, I could weld loops on this lip or on the bottom lip either way. Same thing over there. Or I could, which I'd rather not again, but... I could cut this, a section out of it in the middle, and drill holes through this and ratchet it together if those welds will hold. Probably only got about three good tack welds on the inner and outer sections of that lip. I don't know how well that'll hold. I'd probably finish the welds completely before I go trying to ratchet it together. I don't know how much torque it'll take to pull these sides together, but I'd be willing to bet it's a good little bit. But if anyone has any advice on the best way to pull this back together so I can get that frame aligned, open to suggestion. Um, obviously, I don't. I have a good many tools, but I don't have any kind of body shop tools to where they have all the hydraulic shit. Um, I did the same sort of thing with that Subaru I fixed, but I was able to do it with the ratchet straps. It was just the engine bay that was out of alignment on it. it wasn't the whole framework of the car. So... Uh, the only thing that will have to fl trouble flexing it is going to be that front tunnel, really. These pieces are all open on both sides. This floor will just pull, pull towards the opposite rocker. Up there is going to be the only thing that's going to bind, if anything, really. And a little bit on these uh, door braces or whatever. So, that's where I stand right now on this. Is, uh... Waiting for him to get home to continue work on this. And then I can tech screw it all permanent. I haven't even tech screwed this plate in. It's aligned pretty good. It'll need a little bit more of adjustment, but it's pretty much ready to be tech screwed in. I just haven't done it yet because I'll be pulling all the tech screws off the opposite side when I pull the frame. But Hopefully I'll get to the fun stuff of installing that rear suspension here shortly because that's what I'm excited about. All this metal work and I'm dreading looking forward to body work. That's one thing. Some people find joy in doing. I can't stand constantly standing and rebondoing. It drives me nuts. Metal work's next down the line of pain of constantly welding and grinding. But got to do what you got to do. Eventually, I'll get to the fun part of getting to actually install it back to a real car again. Yeah. Until the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.